Have you got a four-wheel drive with a turbo on it? Have you wound the fuel screw in all the way on your fuel pump? Well, if you have, and you're gonna put an EGT gauge on that sucker, well, then I've got the video for you. I'm gonna talk about where you should put that probe and the benefits of putting it in those places I talk about. Yeah! Oh, hell yeah, brother! <laughs> You'll see where the red tag is, that's the probe into the manifold for the red arc gauge. So that's the original one I put in. Um, if you remember when I built the engine, John at North Geelong Engines, he said, put the gauge, you're better off putting the probe in the manifold than in the turbo, behind the turbo. And I explained a little bit about it in that video. If you want to jump back and try and find that video, be my guest, but I'll talk about it in the next one, which will be what that video is about. Now it's probably going to be harder to see. But down on the bottom of the turbo, I'll try and point to it. Just there is the original probe for the original gauge that used to be in the ute. So when I bought the ute, it already it came with a gauge, it didn't work. It was um, broken, but that's where the original probe was mounted. So that's got like the uh, thread already welded in and the old probe's still in it, just blocking the hole. So I'm gonna undo that, throw that out, and that's where the new one's gonna go. So then we'll effectively have a temp gauge reading from the manifold, reading manifold temperature. Then we'll have one reading after turbo. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, I've got the two AGT gauges now on the dash and they're both running different spots. So, long time viewers of the channel will remember when I built, well didn't build, when I rebuilt the engine in the ute and I put the first EGT probe into the exhaust manifold from the suggestion of John at Nocturlong Engines who did um, the main building on the engine for me and he said that's the best place to put your EGT probe, showed me some actual live data um, from a dyno test that he did on a 1HZ engine with a turbo, which is the same engine as I've got, and it showed a 200 degrees difference between putting the EGD, EGT probe in the manifold and, between, and one in the turbo. So the one behind the turbo was running 200 degrees. So that was the reason why I decided not to put the probe back in the behind the turbo and put it in the manifold. So a few years have gone by now, uh, probably two and a half since I built the engine, and I've been meaning to put that second gauge back on the U. I finally put it in, and it's all set up now and going, and now we're gonna show the differences in the temperatures. A lot of people out there, when they get a four wheel drive, or they've bought one that come with a turbo put on it by someone else, they, generally speaking, some people don't, but generally speaking, a lot of people will put the EGT Pro behind the turbo. And that's all well and good. You want to measure how hot your temperatures are getting out of your engine, that's fine. You don't want to melt pistons or um, have things go wrong like that or overheat or whatever. But if your temperature coming out of your manifold is 200 degrees, which I'm just saying is a rough estimate, a rough ballpark figure, it's 200 degrees hotter than what it is at the turbo and at your probe. When you're going up a hill, doing 100 kilometers going up a hill, it's a hot day, and your engine's reading 500 degrees, for example, your actual temperatures could be 700. 
I use the word could, it's not, I'm not saying this is 100% correct, could be 700 degrees. That's pretty close to piston melting temperature. Um, you'll definitely be causing damage to it. You'll be getting cracks for if it's happening a lot, you'll be causing cracks. And you'll be just driving around thinking nothing's wrong because you've got your it's running cooler behind the turbo. The turbo is dissipating that heat coming from your exhaust manifold. You've probably got one and a half to two feet of pipe and turbo between your manifold and your probe. You're losing quite a bit of heat going through the turbo. It's such a large metal, uh, cast metal um, object that it soaks a lot of the heat up. You're also losing it through that exhaust. So, you're better off having it straight at the manifold, know exactly what your exhaust temps are coming straight out of your head, and you'll know if your engine's getting hot because it's literally within inches of each cylinder. So, you're gonna be playing it real safe for having it there. This is a common mistake that a lot of um, young blokes fall into. They get a cruddy old four-wheel drive, such as like an old 79 series like mine, or a Patrol, like a TD42, all that sort of garbage. They whack a turbo on there, they crank the fuel screw up, as young blokes love to do, because everybody likes to see their car swim. And they put the, t the probe on there and they think they're right. And there's some cases they don't even run in the intercooler. You want to be running in the intercooler no matter what. So yeah, I'm making this video for people who don't know about this sort of thing. And for a lot of young blokes out there, you want to whack that probe in your manifold. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to drive, we're out driving today. Uh, we're out of lockdown finally. So we can go for a bit of a cruise. I've got both gauges set up. We're going to put the camera in front of the gauges. Um, I'm going to have to hold on to it. So the footage might be a bit shaky. And we're going to watch the two gauges. The red arc one, this is the only sort of gripe I've got with the red arc gauge. It doesn't show fine increments like this eBay one does. This eBay one will show like it's 286 degrees now and the Red Arc one is showing about 375. But the Red Arc one goes up in increments of 25 degrees whereas the eBay one goes up in increments of one. So it's not 100% accurate but the biggest gaps I've seen so far between the two gauges is 150 degrees we haven't gone up like any real big hills and really put the ute under low but that's what we're gonna do so we'll uh, stop flapping our gums and we'll show you some temperatures uh, I don't know how well you can see the gauges there I hope that comes up all right we're currently doing 100 kilometers an hour going up a pretty steep hill so the, the temperatures are climbing I'm gonna be putting flat to the floor doing about 450 on the red arc gauge, pushing 500. We're about 320, 330 on the eBay one. So what's that, about 100, and we're getting close to 150 degrees difference between the two probes. Coming up the crest of the hill now, 500, 355, 525 to 367. about 175 degrees difference give or take a few uh, degrees there obviously it's hard to sort of keep your eyes on the road and on the gauges at the same time hopefully the footage isn't too shaky if it is sorry about that but uh, I haven't really got anywhere to mount the GoPro so you'll just sort of have to deal with it <laughs> so there you go you can already see that was a relatively steep hill and it's a pretty cool day there's a bit of breeze around too so the engines not getting particularly hot um, but you can see the difference there in um, the temperatures of just, you know, the two different positions of the probe and how much difference that actually does make. How much temperature you're not seeing by having the probe at, behind your turbo. Also, I know the boost is pretty high. <laughs> the engine, I've still got to tune this engine. I keep saying about it in videos. I want to put another gearbox in the gear and get it tuned properly. I still haven't got around to it. It'll happen one day, so. <coughs> yeah, it is what it is. So we'll happily just run the 15 PSI and blow gaskets out, no worries. That's not stressing me out too much. 
So we'll keep cruising along, we'll keep an eye on those temperatures. At the moment it's about 400 degrees at the manifold and 325 at just behind the turbo. So, you know, there's, what's that, 80 degrees difference and we're just sort of cruising at the moment. But um, we'll keep going along and we'll see what, uh, what revelations we get. I don't think we're going to break 200 degrees, it's just not a hot enough day. And I don't think I'm going to get enough uh, speed going up a large enough hill to get the gap that wide. But the hotter the temperature does get out of the exhaust manifold, the wider the gap. Um, obviously it takes a little bit longer for the heat to really heat up down behind the turbo. You've got to heat all that pipe up, heat the turbo up and get yeah, the gases coming out of the back of the turbo hot on that probe. Whereas you'll get an instant heat straight out the manifold. Um, that's where all your fire and brimstone's coming out of, so that's where it's going to be the hottest. Yeah, everybody's uh, putting turbo 
goes on there and trying to soup up their old diesels. You know, they're pretty they're a pretty slow sort of engine, most of the early diesels from the 90s and 80s, early 2000s. You know, they were never really designed to quickly push down bulk power, you know, handling lots of PSI. They're just, you know, they're old they're old tractor engines just about. So you can't expect great things. But uh, it is what it is and you know people you know you can't really stop people doing what they want to do and I'm all for having a bit of a, a bit of fun and chucking a turbo on there and, you know going out and having a bit of fun so each to their own but we'll keep going we're going up we're starting to climb up a bit of a steep hill here at the at the moment so we'll uh, see what the gauges do and you've got wound the fuel screw in all the way have you put a turbo on there and you're thinking to yourself I'm gonna put an EGT gauge on now because I want to be safe y'all 
Well, I've got the video just for you because I'm going to talk about EGT gauges and where you should put the probes. Yeah! Block the roof. Come on now. Woo! Yeah! What's going on there, partner? Have you bought yourself a shitty four wheel drive and wound the fuel screwing all the way on the fuel pump? Yes? Have you got a turbo on there? Are you gonna put an EGT gauge on your dash? Hell yeah! Well, if you're gonna do all those things, you're gonna wanna watch this video. I'm gonna talk about where you should put the probe on your EGT gauge. So stick around and we'll see what happens. Woo! 